what car I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a car real soon. Next few months, bro, I'm happy. I had just reluctantly returned home from an extended vacation trip to Japan. After experiencing delicious food beyond compare, a beautiful country, and spending time with amazing people. Needless to say, I was a bit depressed about coming home. Damn. Yo, that really be happening. Like, people be depressed about going home from a vacation. Like, I, li I lost my uh, my girl. <laughs> Shut even on a vacation and didn't want to come back home. Like, yo, vacations be good and bad emotionally, bro. That shit weird as sad. On my first day back home, I went straight to my bedroom and passed out before doing anything else. Rather, I didn't okay. have the energy. It was probably for that reason that I failed to notice subtle hints that my home was not as lonely without me as I believed. Hmm. Hours later, I awoke in the middle of the night to the sound of scuttling noises and the floorboards creaking. We got mice. Understandably confused, I got out of bed and made my way into the hallway that was connected to both the living room and kitchen. Cautiously, I crept my way through the darkness, groping the wall next to me for balance in my tired state as I trudged forward. The fuck? I, however, made the fatal mistake of stepping onto one of the loudest boards in the hallway, alerting whoever or whatever was lurking in the shadows of the next room. I think it was... I paused. What the f... Yo! That's the Grim Reaper himself, my nigga. As did the <laughs> entity in the next room before a whoosh of air was heard as they retreated into whatever crevice they had come out of. Taking a nervous gulp of air, I walked into the living room and turned on the nearby lamp that dimly lit up the room. Looking around, I spotted not a soul, but rather some of my furniture was disturbed. What's more, a couple of my kitchen cabinets... Yo, I'll come home and somebody live in my crib, bro. Just leave and call the police or some shit, nigga. Leave and call the police or some shit, bro. Hell no. were slightly ajar. Wow. Bewildered, but with my guard up. S especially if you ain't got no gun? Bro, sit the fuck out of there and call the cops, yo. You out of I went over and closed them all before readjusting my furniture, by which point I had relaxed. I chalked up the odd noises and movements to my jet-lagged brain and shrugged, deciding to just head back to bed. I wish the story ended there, but I was not so lucky. Before entering the hallway to my room, I saw that the large metal covering to the air vent above the couch was missing. Peering up at it, I mumbled, What the? Before a crooked face filled with abject disdain for my Ew. existence popped into view. Startled, I fell to the ground and began crawling away Yo! as I heard the man begin screeching incoherently as he dropped down onto the couch. No. Nah. That moment he would have got his ass out of yo, I would have whooped. <laughs> when I tell you, I would have whooped this nigga's ass for thirty minutes straight, cause who was you hopping out the vents in my house? You're bugging. I watched in horror as no his joints way. cracked beneath his raggedy hoodie and heavily stained jeans. He stared, nigga. I'm talking. <laughs> Talking knees, elbows, nigga. <laughs> it's over. What, what is that? Him before brandishing a knife out oh, of the back pocket. Oh, I'd have got poked up. I'd have got poked up. See, I'd have moved the first plan and left. You feel me? The first plan, I would have already been on left and called the police on that nigga. I'd have got my ass poked up trying to be cool. And pointed it towards me. My house now. Mine. Mine. You left it. It's mine. Get the fuck out of he here. He shouted with a slurred voice as he charged towards me. I hurriedly crawled towards my room and slammed the door behind me and locked it as he started. Yo, what if he just put the knife through the door? <clears throat> you feel me? Now, now that shit would have been crazy now. That would have been some Assassin Creed shit. Jabbing his blade into the door. Oh, yelling at see, me I died. told ya. Shakily, I called the police and sobbed as Should've I told them what was happening. Thankfully, I was told a patrol car was nearby my neighborhood and they would be at my house in minutes. I stayed on the phone and picked up a baseball bat just in case that deranged that. creep broke down my door. A few horrendous minutes later, the police arrived and after a quick but violent struggle, they managed to subdue the intruder. I'm nigga angry as hell, yo. It really be people with... 
these mental like what be going on in people's heads sometimes I don't understand after locking him in the back seat of the patrol car the cops invest like this nigga really tried to steal a house y'all realize that he tried to steal somebody's house my nigga he's wilding this nigga's stupid gated my house and found that the man apparently had been living there while I was gone but not just that Apparently, he'd been staying at my house without me noticing for a few months. According to the police, they found paper stuffed under the couch that was filled with nothing but incoherent ramblings about how he planned to kill me one day when the time was right. With the dates next to each entry predating my trip to Japan by an uncomfortable amount of time. Frankly, I'm happy to be alive. And relieved that the situation was resolved so quickly. Damn, what the fuck? How the fuck did nigga get in your shit, bro? But still, I make sure to triple check the locks in my home after that little incident. Nigga talking about some triple check. Hold on. Yo, what's that sound? 